Hello guys, welcome back to Simple Blissful Living. Today I'm bringing you a recipe for tres leches cake. This is a cake that's drenched in three different types of uh, milks and it's a very delicious cake. We recently had a birthday in our family. It was my husband's birthday and I made him this cake and I wanted to share this wonderful recipe with you guys. So please keep watching. So here are the ingredients you're going to need for the cake. I will have the written recipe down below. We're going to need some flour, some baking powder, some salt. We're going to need some uh, sugar that's divided into two different quantities. And then we're going to need some eggs that's separated. Here I have egg yolks and then egg whites. We're also going to need some milk. I'm using whole milk. You can use uh, skim or non-fat or 2%. And then for the three milks, we're going to use heavy cream, some condensed milk, and some evaporated milk. And then you can optionally use vanilla in both the cake and the milk as well. So the first thing you're going to do is take the flour and the baking powder and whisk it in a bowl and just set that aside. Next, we're going to take a stand mixer. You can use a hand mixer for this as well. And we're going to beat the sugar and the eggs together until they become a pale yellow color. Next, we're going to add the milk and the vanilla and mix it really well. Switching to the paddle attachment, we're going to add the flour mixture along with the salt and mix this really well until it comes together. Be sure to scrape the bowl once in between just to make sure that nothing is sticking to the bottom. Once everything is well combined, we're going to go ahead and pour this batter into a separate bowl. If you're using a hand mixer for this, you can skip this step and just get another clean bowl to whisk up the egg whites. We're whisking the egg whites until they get to soft peaks, at which time you're going to go ahead and add the sugar to this. And then we're going to go ahead and whisk it again until they get to stiff peaks. After you have stiff peaks in your egg whites, go ahead and start adding the batter that we set aside into the mix in 5 parts or as slowly as possible. I'm using the whisk attachment to just fold in the batter very slowly and gently. You don't want to do this quickly or just kind of uh, mix it vigorously because you'll end up losing all the air that you have in the egg whites and it'll deflate your batter. So do this very slowly. We're going to then preheat our oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Grease or butter a pan of your choice. I'm using a half sheet pan here um, but you can also use a 9 by 13 inch baking pan. And once your oven is preheated, transfer it to the oven and bake it for about 15 to 20 minutes. While the cake is baking, go ahead and mix the three milks, which is evaporated condensed milk and the heavy cream. I only used half the tin of condensed milk, so you can adjust per your wish. After 20 minutes, the cake was baked and the toothpick came out clean. I'm going to go ahead and let this cool completely and while it cools, I'm going to whisk up some heavy whipping cream with a little bit of sugar. You can buy store-bought whip whipping cream if you'd like, but homemade always tastes better. Just make sure you don't over whip it. At this point, you can prick the entire cake with a fork and pouring the milk mixture over it to let it soak up. Um, or you can do what I did. I made a layered cake, so I made it into four equal parts and then prick each piece and then to stop the milk from flowing out I made a wall of whipped cream that I whipped up earlier. This helps the milk to not spill out and just kind of stay contained within that area. I then poured a little bit of the milk mixture. I then piped some whipped cream and spread it out very thinly and evenly before adding some fruit. I use mandarin and fresh strawberries, but you can use any fruit of your choice. Pineapple is really good in this, so is blueberries, any berries of your choice. You, I mean, the possibilities are endless. You just continue this until you get to your desired tier, and then 
go ahead and decorate to your liking. I chose to use whipped cream that I made all around the cake. It just tastes a lot better than buttercream in this particular cake. I spread it all around and then I used a scraper to make these marks and then I just decorated the top. At the end, I put some whipped cream swirls on the side and added some fresh fruit on top. Now you can decorate this any way you want. This cake is a little messy because of the milk that it's soaking in however it is so delicious it's worth it and you can make this the night before and let it sit in the refrigerator and it tastes even better the next day so that was my recipe for tres leches cake layered cake i hope you enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to like share subscribe and comment and until next time please live blissfully and i will see you guys very soon bye